All right, okay, guys, it's uh, Sunday night, January 13th, and we've got a big earnings week, January 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. And I'm going to show you how I load all five days into five separate watch lists um, and put it to a, my quote tracker screen. So what we're going to do, we've got the 14th here. We're going to come down here. We're going to copy it, load it into an Excel spreadsheet. There we go, there's Monday. Come down here, we're going to add Tuesday. Which is the 15th. I'm going to copy and paste all of these. And as you can see that there are some that uh, have some whisper numbers. Some do not. And I'll show you how to do this. Pretty easy. Okay, there's Tuesdays done. Okay, now we're going to go back to Wednesday. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. Got some big boys reporting this week. Copy it. Paste. Okay. Come down here. <coughs> Go back to Thursday. You know, I guess I could have played some background music to give you guys a little something to to listen to while I, I could cough, I guess. Snart. Make, make some other kind of noises. Okay, there's Thursday. But I think you get the idea of what I'm doing here. Okay, there's uh, Friday's. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to oh, I ain't the way I want to do that. Let's do it this way. Copy. <coughs> and then we're going to go to our uh, quote tracker list. We're going to come down to Monday. Add symbol list. Paste. Voila. All right, there's Mondays. Let's go to Tuesdays now. Move it aside. That's all the earnings uh, reports. Hang on a second, I've got to uh, I've got to get out of that. Copy. There. Bring it over to Tuesday. Add symbol list. Multiple symbols. Add. We come down to Wednesday. Okay, do the same thing. symbol to list. Add several symbols. Okay. Go down to Thursday. See how I'm doing this? It's so easy even a deaf, dumb, and blind old fork could do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Copy. Thursday. Add symbols to lists, paste, add, 
there we go come down Friday by the way I preloaded the words Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday in case you hadn't figured that out I've got to get out of that. Copy. Add symbol to list. There. Paste. Add. Okay, now. So here's what we've got. All right, there's Fridays. Okay, now watch this. <clears throat> if you're trying to set up a watch list and it's taking you forever and a day, maybe you should consider Quote Tracker. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know of any other place where you can do this this quick. Uh, there's Thursday. You see, I'm just, I'm just, all I'm doing there's Tuesday, <clears throat> Monday. Okay, there are all these stocks, all this information, and so let's just count what we were able to do here. There's 44 on on Monday, um, 13 on Tuesday, Wednesday. There's 23, 24 on Thursday and 15 on Friday I'm able to watch the volume value change high low tick I can pull up a chart on any of these okay um, it's <laughs> it's the greatest thing in the world I'm telling you for if you're an Ameritrade or an E-Trade user I believe it's free uh, it costs you nothing um, I can pull up the charts just that quick, every one of them. Now, they're, they're backfilling right now, of course, but uh, I can close all the charts. We want to see what's going on for Monday. Um, uh, we've got uh, 44, uh, what is it, 44 plays here, charts, show all charts. I want to show all 44. Yeah, hell yeah, why not? Okay, now they're backfilling, of course. But it's just that quick, okay? Close all charts. We're looking at Schwab here. <clears throat> Let's just look at the... Uh, say we want to look at uh, a three-day chart of Schwab. We want to set all of our charts to this template to this particular template right here <clears throat> we have a capability okay now we've set them all to a three-day chart so we come up to charts here show all charts there we go and I happen to be using tick candlesticks here uh, uh, we'll get into that later on but uh, I don't use time frames, I use ticks. And these are all being loaded on a 200 tick chart. Again, they're backfilling. It's going to take a while for them to all backfill. It's probably going to take uh, 15, 20 minutes. That's why this needs to be done in the evening. But I've got uh, the point is I can see all the charts on everything that's going to happen for Monday. Say, say tomorrow on Monday I want to start looking at Tuesday's earning plays okay here they are um, Lenar and a, and a number of others okay uh, on Wednesday we got Goldman Sachs JP Morgan um, you can see what they are eBay of course uh, <clears throat> go like this go down to Thursday Look at the high volume plays, low volume plays. Bank of America, one of my favorites. Intel, Citibank. We got a big day on Thursday. And Friday, we've got a few. We've got uh, Morgan Stanley, GE, and a number of others. Okay. And that's how I do it, guys. Thanks for watching this, Mikey.